Hey guys, we have another quick little tour for you from our time in Annapolis at the boat show. This is number two. We only really got a handful of boat tours done because we got so distracted with everything else we were doing, like networking and just talking with you guys. It was a lot of fun. So we didn't get as many boat tours as we wanted to do, but this is a brief little one that we want to show you guys because this boat is kind of small but pretty interesting. So here it is. This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> You got your floats on the side here and these floats they fold in so this boat is you know it's almost convertible like yeah it's from trimaran to yeah. monohull um it has a furling head sail you got lots of width because of this but when you fold it in i i think the beam is very very narrow yes so you can fit into a normal size slip, slip. I think it's interesting that the backstays are on the floats. Really cool boat. Looks like it's powered by an Owl board. Which is probably more than enough power for this. Pretty standard size cockpit for the equivalent size model, huh? All the control lines running and right here. Oh. Maybe yeah, throttle controls for your motor. Storage. Yeah. Just going down below. Like, uh, carbon fiber. I don't know if that's just an appearance. <laughs> that's your little sink right there. Yeah. This is a cute little hubby. Yeah. Now, it looks like this slides out of the way for... Looks like there's a berth under there now. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, there's a berth under there. Really. That's a good size berth, actually. Yeah, really cool. This is kind of like your nav station right here. Now, this is only a 28 foot boat, so you, you can a long table and seating area yeah. for this size boat. It's interesting. There's certain expectations. Ooh, I just hit my head. <laughs> yeah, like that. There's certain expectations. I don't have full standing headroom in here, so I have to duck my head a little bit. So, interesting choice in finishing up this way. Um, there's actually doors that slide to close off this berth, which is me. Got a nice size V berth here. This actually is the same, and it looks like it's going to fit perfectly. All right, so there's a door here that just slides to close Jordan away. And it just fits flush with the wall. Yeah, you can go ahead and pull it open. There you go. We've got a sink, storage, and head. And then the Viber back in here with a little bit of storage up front on the sides with some built-in shelving. Very nice. And some more storage over here. I hit a button, I don't know what I did. Very cool. So what did you think of this one, Randy? This is a very different boat. I've never been on a boat, obviously, that transforms. It reminds me of a transformer. How you can like bring in those, what are they called? The Outriggers? Floats. Yeah. Um, that was definitely different. And it was so compact inside it felt like a really small boat when you were on the inside but obviously it has that width when it's fully extended i know a lot of people got on us about the lifelines on our boat when we didn't have lifelines but i was honestly nervous walking on those i, I called them outriggers again in my mind what are they called I again i think they could be called outriggers but the floats. floats yeah walking from the floats onto the main hole I was like nervous that I was going to fall at the boat show, which would have been super embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Let us know, guys. Is it, I'm pretty sure you can use outriggers and floats in your Yeah, I don't know. But a, we're not trimaran sailors, so. No. What did you think about this boat? I think that this boat is really cool, and I know that I say that about a lot of boats, but, I mean, this boat is truly unique 
in the fact that it is so performance oriented and it has those the folding floats so it can fit into a normal slip. It's also trailerable. So it's a very versatile boat for what it is. It's designed for performance and portability first. Yes. Now it has those things going for it and I think that if we would have gone out for a sail and gone 25 knots oh my gosh, yeah. on it, it probably would have been really exhilarating, but we didn't actually get to do that. Mm -mm. So we just saw it at the dock. Our opinions are based on that. Like we know it goes fast and that's what it's designed to do, but I think our impressions were that it is, you know, for a 28 foot boat, it felt very small. Yeah, we always try to hit on that though. Like this boat isn't designed for a live aboard cruiser. I really don't feel. Mm -mm. It's designed for performance and going fast and having fun out on it, like day sailing. Mm -hmm. It's not to spend a lot of time on crossing oceans. It's not yeah. built for that. It wouldn't be the most comfortable boat that you could do that with. It's supposedly unsinkable. It's positively buoyant and it's, it's a really good fast day sailor, racer, I'd say weekender. I wouldn't go do any extended cruising on it just because you guys saw that it's very small down below. Yeah. The accommodations are very basic and... I mean, it does have a cabin if you want to spend a weekend out having yeah. fun. Oh but... yeah, but you know, it's very basic. So, yeah. and the one thing I wanted to mention is that I, I don't know that I think it's overpriced. To be honest with you, I think the boat is overpriced. I know that it's really advanced engineering and there's a lot that goes into that, but mm -hmm. the boat that we looked at today, it's a quarter of a million dollars mm -hmm. and it's a 28 foot boat. I mean, it's, I feel like there's a lot more things that I could spend a quarter of a million dollars on that would, you know, be better than, than this boat. So, you know, I did really like the boat. I just think that it's a good day sailor, weekender, racer and probably for less money than a quarter million dollars. <laughs> so, and even the 32, I looked up the, the Dragonfly 32, I think that one's almost a half a million dollars. It's like 400 and something thousand dollars, yeah. like for a 32 foot boat. So, I mean, I guess it's all about what your passion is. If you're super passionate about going out, having fun, being fast on the weekends, yeah. go for it. <laughs> so, you're right. I'd love to go sailing on one, but I don't think I'd ever own one, <laughs> you know? So anyway, that's this, this video. I know it wasn't very long, we wanted to show you guys because we had to kind of get on this boat where we are at the show because we like interesting boats and we think that the Dragonfly boats are definitely very interesting and if you haven't seen them before, it's definitely a, a cool little boat to take a look at. So as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with our journey and if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I've got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here